Hey guys, I'm back today because I want to do a review about WGU, which is Western Governors University. I graduated from there. I'm gonna say, I believe it was last year in January, and I wanted to make this video. I just really haven't had the chance, and I was out of state almost a whole year, which I'm still out of state. Um, yesterday, I decided to go back to Pennsylvania to pack my stuff, and while I was packing, I came across the camera and all the things that they actually send you, which made me realize, hey, you still haven't made this video, so here it, here it goes. So WGU is a nonprofit. I'm sorry, give me one second. Like I was saying, they are a nonprofit in their competent based uh, education, which means that they measure your skill and your knowledge. So a lot of it could be your knowledge from work um, and just life in general. When you take the assessment before you begin a class, um, you take this assessment and it gives you everything, all the areas that you did really well and the areas you didn't do so well. So what you can do because you already know some of it, just work on the ones that you didn't do so well. And then uh, you can take an assessment afterwards. I feel like the biggest question that a lot of people have is, is WGU accredited? Yes, they are accredited. Um, they're accredited by the NWCCU, which is Northwest Commission of Colleges and Universities. So w, is a w, WGU works by terms, six month terms. Um, I have this I have this written down, that's why I keep looking to the side. I just wanted to make sure that I don't forget everything that is most important. Um, so you have every six months you get a set of classes. And you have the six full months to work on all your classes to finish them. You can work on them at your own pace. If you finish early, you move on. You can add another class and there is no cost to you. Um, a lot of the times I did that, I would finish all my classes before the term just so I could finish faster. That's how a lot of people have... You know, when they, you go on YouTube and you see videos, I finished my degree in six months. It's because they were working on it and they were just adding classes on top of another. Um, WGU offers business, uh, IT, health, health professional, and a degree in teaching as well. The cost for a bachelor's degree is six thousand six hundred and seventy, and for a master's is seven thousand four hundred and five, which is a lot cheaper than most other places. Courses taken at other universities definitely they do transfer. Um, they do have a list, and if you type in your the college that you went to or the community college, um, you can see what was transferred. Um, after you signed up, um, what they will send you is a student kit. It's a little, it's a small box. It's called a student success kit. It has um, a cup, a whiteboard with a marker for your assessments, and I will get to that in a minute. I think I believe it, I believe it has a pen and a do not disturb sign for your door, so you can study and take your test. And what am I missing? Of course, the webcam. It's a fishbowl. This web camera is good to take your assessments. When you have your test, a proctor test. So what you will have to do is be in a quiet room. Um, and when you communicate with a proctor, everything is done online. Make sure that if you set up a time for your ass assessment, you get there ahead of time so you can log in and make sure you get through and you don't have any issues. Once or twice I had a little issue, but it was nothing big. It was fixed right away and I got to my assessment. Um, what was I get? Okay, with the camera, because you can move it, they will ask you to show them the four walls. So you will, sh you will show them, you know, you turn the camera. You will show them your paper, your table, and under your table, just to make sure there's no funny business going on. And then you can begin your test. When you use the board, the whiteboard during your test, you're not allowed, I believe you're not allowed to erase it. So make sure you, when you write things on it, it's neatly. 
Um, and even when you're done, you can't erase it until you show it to them. And then they tell you you can erase it. And then your results show right away. Like you log in, I mean log out, refresh the page, log back in, and you will see your results right away if you passed. So each, I believe each class has, like I said, an assessment at the beginning of the course to see how you're doing and what things you need to work on in order for you to move, you know, um, move along the class. Um, you will have your objective assessments. Some classes have, you have to write some papers. Other ones you have to, I believe you have to do like a project, depending what, um, what uh, course you're in. I was in, in nursing for, you know, my bachelor's degree for nursing. For some classes, like, um, I had to retake statistics, unfortunately. But um, for that one, I don't think it was proctored and you had to, um, you know, just answer the questions, get through the test and be done. That class took me maybe two weeks to be done with because I've already taken, I mean, uh, statistics. So it was pretty easy to go through. I took the assessment. I did a review. I made sure that I worked on things that I didn't do so well on. So when I took the test, I passed and I was done. And then I moved on to my next class. The beautiful thing about WGU is that they offer so many resources. I mean, it's really unbelievable. They have a library online. They have your mentor, which we'll get to that. Um, they have, oh, for writing. They have a writing center and they are amazing, amazing, especially if you hate to write like me because writing is not my thing. Um, once you finish your paperwork, you can call them, you talk to them, you tell them what the um, article was about you if you have questions about APA format um, they can review your paper and go through what needs to be fixed they will they have forums they have um, things available where you can talk to other students they have so many resources um, that you honestly do not feel alone with this online course though you do have to be very motivated I think that's one of the hardest Thing for people to get um, is to like push yourself to do it because there's no one there to tell you hey get to work so you have to really be dedicated to this um, even if you have to have a whiteboard uh, I don't know set a timer on your phone put a date of the times that you're gonna work on each class and for how long limit yourself um, don't push yourself too hard don't stress yourself because I, I did that a lot I feel like I just wanted to get done with this course and graduate that I just pushed myself way too much and I was a little stressed here and there um, but I am a mother of two I had a family I was working full-time then closer to my graduation date I started travel nursing and I was still doing my classes um, the first month I struggled to manage all of this but after that I just caught up and I was done but everything is doable I got to mention that you do get a mentor. Um, so first you get the admissions counselor, you know, the enrollment counselor actually, and then you get an admission, a mentor, I'm sorry, a mentor. And she calls you, I wanna say every week at first, um, <laughs> just to check in on you to see if we need any help, any resources, anything you need, she, is, he, she or he are there for you. I didn't, that's the one thing I didn't like those calls that were like every week or every two weeks um so i did tell her that you know can we just make an appointment for like every two weeks and she was okay with that um but at first she did call me once a week just to make sure that i was doing okay and if i was struggling with classes and if you forget not that you forget but if you just find that you're struggling and you're just not working on your classes she will call you or he will call you and say hey are you okay do you need any help i'm noticing you haven't really been on because you do have to log in every so often um i try to log in into my account today uh and it actually went through i was trying to get my t1098 form for my taxes and then i noticed that they had this i don't know if you can see it says congratulations you know you graduated with a bachelor's degree which is so cute it's still there um they did tell me you never lose access to this so you can refer back because even after you graduate, you have other resources. If you want to become a mentor, you can attend the uh, commencement ceremonies. You can give career and professional development advice. 
um, you can just, you know, like be an ambassador, earn another degree, refer people, or just come back to WGU for your master's. As for financial aid, I paid out of pocket because, like I said, it was pretty cheap. I mean, a lot. You know, it was very inexpensive compared to other places. Um, they do offer financial aid. You can fill out your FAFSA. They have scholarships. Um, they have a lot of ways to help you pay for this. Make sure you have um, uh, what is it called? A support system, a family member, or somebody to help you get through this. And it's actually nice if you join in with a friend and you both work on you know classes together. Um, you have someone to back you up all the time. You know, I'm skipping around here, but I'm just remembering things. And when you get to the classes, before you get to the classes, you'll watch orientation, everything's videos, um, and they will, everything's explained for you. They walk you through everything. It's pretty user-friendly. Um, I think it was only one time where I struggled, and I don't remember what it was with, but for the most part, it was really easy and quick to get through. So this is pretty much the end of the video. If you are thinking of joining WGU, I think it's a really good idea, especially for those students who, like I said, have families and other responsibilities that they cannot physically attend other schools or have the responsibility of, how is it? Um, oh, having like limited or timed assessments. With this, you can actually, set a goal for yourself as long as you finish before the sixth month you're good nobody's gonna tell you hey you gotta finish this by january the first no you give yourself that day you say okay i'll be ready i don't know february 15th to take my assessment and you go take it so whenever you're ready whatever time you want you just have to set up that appointment and that's what i did i used to take all my assessments like uh two in the morning or when I wasn't working back then I used to work night shifts so it was easier for me especially because I have kids like I said before um if you have any questions you could comment below if you need me to answer anything just let me know all right bye guys bye